All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make this decorative extrusion text effect here in Photoshop and Illustrator. We're going to start in Illustrator. My artboard size is this number right here. I'm going to select the type tool and I'm going to go with the letter R. I won't do the whole text because it's a little bit more time consuming. And I'm going to go with the impact font, right click on the letter, create outlines. I gotta go and swap it from field to stroke. Make sure that you don't have anything on the field. Click on the field, click on the none, click on the stroke. So it's gonna be on the top. Let's select the design, press and hold Alt, drag it and also press shift. So this is going to create a new copy. And this effect you cannot make with the 3D settings here in Illustrator. So we're gonna to need to do this manually. And I also gonna create a new copy next to this. And we're gonna create the extrusion. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and I'm gonna select these anchor points right here. Press and hold shift, select this anchor point and then this one. And I'm gonna to go to the properties and click on cut pad at selected anchor point. So if I select one of these, as you can see, it's not doing anything because the whole thing is grouped. I'm gonna right click on group and let's see what happens. It's still nothing, right click release compound path. So now I can separate it. I'm gonna do the same thing with this, on group, on group, right click, release compound path, select these two guys, press control G, double click. So these two are highlighted and I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna connect this anchor point with this one. And I'm gonna click here, select it and scroll down, click on join. And this is how we're gonna create the extrusion because it's gonna be a cartoon type of extrusion. These areas are a little bit more complicated, by the way. So I'm gonna select this edge and also this edge. Let's cut them. I'm also gonna cut this here. Cut, cut. And now I can select this area, delete it, delete this one also. And I can connect with the pen tool. So this was pretty easy. I'm gonna join them together. This area right here is a little bit more complicated. So what we need to do is select the pen tool and we're going to need to eyeball it. And I'm going to connect here and here. Now, Astute Graphics can make this perfectly, but Adobe doesn't have this option where it's going to tell you exactly where to click. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool and I'm just going to do it manually and I'm going to eyeball it. You also can press Control Y to see it even better. This part is good. Control Y. And I'm gonna select this and increase the stroke thickness a little bit more. Now I'm gonna select these two, press Ctrl G to group them, double click. So it's gonna highlight it. I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna select the pen tool, add another anchor point here where they intersect with this thick line. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna select the line, pen tool, click where they intersect. Now I can double click release. I'm gonna decrease the thickness and I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and select this line here, press on delete. And I also gonna select this line, press on delete again, and now I can join them. So now I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select these two guys, press on join, select the endpoints, and do the same thing with this one join and I'm going to deselect, select again and click on join here and this is how you make it. I'm going to speed this up and finish the rest as well. There you go. So this is how you should create this extrusion and I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go to fill, add an orange and also make sure that this extrusion is on the top. So I'm going to select it. Actually, I'm going to need to select these two, right click group and I'm going to right click arrange, bring to front. Now I'm going to add that fluffy effect. So I'm going to select all of this extrusion and let's go to the brushes. And here we got this default brush and it's going to create this furry brush effect. And now I'm going to increase the stroke thickness. I'm going to go somewhere around four. There you go. And as you can see, we've got a couple of sharp areas in here. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go to the stroke options, decrease the limit to zero. As you can see, it disappears. And also we're going to go to the corners and make it around it. And now I'm going to create the top part. So we're going to need a new copy and I'm going to need a fill. I'm going to need to swap it from stroke to fill and I'm going to recolor it to orange. And this is going to go on the top. So I'm going to right click arrange, bring to front. So it's gonna go somewhere here like this, covering a little bit of the fur. And now we're gonna need two more copies. So I'm gonna need to make this furry as well. So I'm gonna go to the brush, select the brush, increase it to four, stroke options, decrease the limit, make it rounded. And I'm gonna put it on the top. I'm gonna right click, arrange, bring to front, 
and I'm gonna put it right on it. There you go. These two needs to be separated. And now with this letter R, we're gonna need to create that highlight effect. So I'm gonna increase the stroke again to four. So I'm gonna go back to the brush, select the brush, increase it to four. Actually, I'm gonna add more on this one. I'm gonna go somewhere around with nine and I'm gonna go to the object expand appearance and we're gonna need to recolor this we got another another shape inside because this one is perfect so i'm gonna select the eyedropper tool and recolor the whole thing now we're gonna go to the pathfinder go to the three dots and click on the divide select it right click on group and we're only gonna need a few things from here we're gonna need this interior part so press and hold shift and also select this part right here we're gonna bring these out and I'm gonna select the rest and delete. And I'm gonna group these, press Control G, and now I'm gonna position it on it. Right click, arrange, bring to front, select the eyedropper tool, select the white color, and I'm gonna bring it somewhere here. And I'm gonna select this one and right click, arrange, bring to front. So I'm gonna select this highlight and press the top outline right here, right click, group. So I can separate it like this. And I also gonna separate this fill. So I'm gonna select these two guys, just bring them out. And you also got this extrusion here, which I'm gonna need to make it rounded. Go to object, expand appearance, and just press shift plus M, or you can select the shape builder tool from here. And I'm gonna press and hold alt and just draw on these. So it's gonna delete them. And I also gonna delete this one. There you go, select all, press Ctrl G to group them. So now we're gonna need to copy paste these into Photoshop, select the extrusion, press Ctrl C, go to Photoshop. In Photoshop, my artboard size is on 2400, press Ctrl V, let's go with Smart Object, click OK, don't scale it up, press Enter, let's go back to Illustrator, select the fill, press Ctrl C, go back to Photoshop, press Ctrl V, Smart Object, Enter, Enter. And not but least, we're gonna copy paste this from Illustrator, Ctrl C, go to Photoshop, press Press Ctrl V, Enter, Enter. Now press and hold Shift, select all smart objects with the letter R, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale all of it together up. Double click release, and now we're gonna put these in place. So I'm gonna select the fill, put it somewhere here, and I'm gonna select the outlines and reposition them. There you go. And now but least, we're gonna need to create that interior pattern. So I'm gonna select the rectangle, create a rectangle like this, and I'm gonna create four of them. Press and hold Alt, drag it to create a copy, Alt again, create another copy, and another one. I'm gonna double click on the first, I'm gonna make it yellow, click OK. Let's go and double click on the second one thumbnail. I'm gonna go with pink, click OK third thumbnail, purple, fourth thumbnail, and there you go. Now press and hold shift, select all these line layers, right click, convert to smart object, and I'm gonna press and hold alt, create duplicates, position them correctly, like this. Now press and hold shift, select all again, right click, convert to smart object. Now let's go to the filter, liquefy, and we are gonna distort it. Click OK. And now if you remember, we copy pasted a fill from the letter R right here. And now I'm gonna press and hold control and click on the thumbnail from this fill of the letter R. So this way it's going to highlight the letter R and make sure to select this liquid pattern that we created and click on the mask. There you go. Now I can delete the fill from the letter R and I'm gonna bring this pattern above the extrusion layer. There you go. And this is it. Thanks for watching.